Hello, and welcome to egprint.net, your print superstore. Today I'm going to take you through a demonstration on how to build your own trifold brochure. Here in the template section, you'll see that there are several different templates that you can download for free. In the trifold brochure section, there's an 8.5 by 11 inside and outside. You want to make sure that you download both of those to your desktop so you can design accordingly. Once you have both of those downloaded, we can open up our Adobe Photoshop and open up our template. There's a few things we need to keep in mind when we open up our template. We need to make sure that it's ready for the print industry. So we want to make sure that the resolution is set to 300. That will make all of our images and text crisp and clear. Our bounding box should be set to media box and our mode should be set to CMYK. This indicates the color that will be used in the four color printing process, which is considered cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Then let's press OK. Once we have our template set, we want to take a look at a couple items. Here you'll see that there's a margin area. The margin area, which is indicated in blue, is showing you where all of your active area is. Anything within this blue box is allowing you to see and read clearly all of the text and logos. Anything outside of that box, and if it's possible it's close to this trim line, it could get cut off. We also want to make sure that if we have any background, for instance, if we had a full bleed, which means color all the way to the very edge of the brochure, that it goes out to the bleed line. We can even have graphics that go all the way out to the edge of the brochure, but it needs to go out further past the trim line. The next thing we want to do is we want to open up a new layer. By opening up a new layer, it makes it easier to design. Once we're on the new layer, and as long as we have our template still pulled up, it's best that we set our guidelines. We want to show where the fold will be, and we want to find out where the margin lines are. Again, this helps with our design. If you want to be really careful, you can set your trim line as well. This will help if you have any bleeds or any color that goes out to the edge. Once we have our trim and our margin line set with the guide, we can turn off the template. And now we can start designing. Once our design is ready, we can turn on all of our guidelines again, like they are shown here, and make sure that there is no text too close to these fold lines here. We also want to make sure that there's no text or logos that are important that are too close to this guideline here. If, for instance, this perfect print was too close to this edge, it would possibly get cut off. But right now, it's in the safe zone. The same goes for anything at the bottom and on the side. And all of the color that you see here in the background is going out to the edge. So when you're holding your brochure, it'll actually have the color all the way to the edge. The next thing we want to do is we want to save this image as a TIFF. Saving it as a TIFF will make it easier for the printing company to print it for you. Anyone can open up a TIFF on their computer. And make sure that you name it something that you'll remember. And always make sure you put down whether or not it's inside or the outside of the trifold brochure.
Now you are set and ready to go to print. I hope that was helpful. Now, just make sure when you open up your outside template that you do the same thing. Add your guidelines and make sure you save it as a tip. And don't forget to switch your resolution to 300 dpi. Thanks for joining me.